Hello. Hey, I'm Will. I'm Brandon. And we're in Quiet Drive, and we're here in Chicago, and we're going to take you through a little tour of the van. Yes, this is an update from a previous digital tour bus uh, recording. So, the update is, not much has changed. It's still a van, it's still a trailer. It's, and it's the exact same van and trailer. Yeah. Come on in, come on, don't be shy. Don't be bashful here. We got, we got some chips up here. We got, we got the club on, still. Just like last time. I'd like to note that there are some Fig Newtons laying on the ground right here. Yeah, that's uh... That's gross. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Man. That's bad. Got this thing. It's actually a glove with a scraper built into it. Now that's nifty. It's, it never gets used. I've never used it once. I didn't even know that was in there, to be honest. I'm going to the cab now. <laughs> now let me show you our sleeping quarters. <laughs> okay, you see that there's a big trash bag, which... Basically, the best definition of this van is trash. Yep, so. it's disgusting and gross. And this is a chip bag that Randy probably used to blow his nose in <laughs> earlier. We have season six of Seinfeld, which I don't think has been watched in about four years. This was probably in the first episode of uh, Digital Tour Bus. Yeah. Oh, a neti pot. Yep, there we go. This is my, uh, my prize neti pot. Before each show, I like to uh, just douche my nose, I guess is what you good way say, to, I, and clear out the sinuses. Douche with, your nose. It's, that's like what it is. That. It's I, know, I know. It's a nasal douche. Uh, Napkins, because we make all sorts of messes. As you can see, this man's filled with trash. Oh, oh, very important here. See, we like to, <laughs> at night, when we're driving, we like to set up a, a dance club in the back. So we have these rope lights for that. And uh, to set the right tone. Kevin DJs up front while we just have a dance party. We got this thing, which, um, it's a pressure gauge for a time. I don't know. Let's just get rid of that. When, when it's not, when it is not a dance club, it is a hair salon because Kevin has recently become a hairstylist. Yeah. So Kevin goes back there and cuts all our hairs every once. So we got futon mattress. Obviously, there's still some more rope lights back there. Um, from the DJ from party. the DJ party. Sweat crusted clothes. What else do we got? Oh. The famed Vikings. Oh. This has been mentioned in a lot of our interviews. This is our Vikings blanket. Uh, what we do is, when we do a van movie, we'll set up a laptop right up there and uh, plug it into the speaker system and watch a van movie. It's good for bonding. And uh, we always use Vikings as the perfect pop. We build a table out of laptop bags and then finish it off with the Vikings. Vikings. So probably our most prized possession. Um, this. This has a fun story behind it. Um, we were in Death Valley <laughs> about in August, I believe. And yeah. It was, uh, our AC decided to stop working. So it was about 125 degrees out. And so we bought these little fun things to spray our faces with to keep us cold. Yeah. Unfortunately, these got really hot really quick too, so it's just spraying hot water on uh, This is a banana shake from uh, Early Hot Bellies. It hasn't frozen. It doesn't taste like banana anymore. And sips, clearly important. Uh, what else is there? Um, Quiet Drive doesn't to? support racism, so we hand out these flyers to people at every show. Racism. I don't know where that came from, actually. So. Um, where did we get this? Why I don't is know. this even? It's just on the floor. You know, the, really, the most important part about our entire setup here is our trailer, because we have a bar in it called Low Butts, and I don't think legally I can show you what's inside of it, because at night. Low butts gets a little crazy, and there's some stuff written on the walls in there that you know may be inappropriate for the kitties. A little bit, a little bit. So a little bit. that's low butts, just so you know. Um, really, all you're missing is compartments. That it, it actually is really nice though when we go on tour because we do have individual compartments built so we can keep our bags during touring. And in uh, Brandon's section, it's just booze. So that's what and then, uh, see, we're from the future. We got these buttons <laughs> that when you hit it, it honks your horn. That's a new feature that is, on the Ford Econo line, 2006. Um, that's about it, I guess. Thanks for joining us. This has been a lot of fun. I think I'm going to go throw up after I ate some at Fig Newton. Yeah, that was pretty gross. <coughs> it's I'll probably go to Low Butts then. All right. Well, thanks again, Digital Tour Bus, and uh, we'll see you in a town near you.